Monsanto is some huge corporate powerful entity that needs to be destroyed. Monsanto is, I think, uh, basically the opposite of what food production should be. Monsanto is an extremely greedy company um, who really just wants to take over our food supply. We are looking for an advisory opinion that is a, a new way of l l reasoning in law and applying a very important concepts such as the right to health, the right to an environment, the right to food, and also ecocide, which is a brand new concept, legal concept. With an, this advisory opinion, we can open the way to future real lawsuits. Beim Tribunal, da sitzen äh, fünf äh, Richter von verschiedenen Kontinenten und die werden sich zwei Tage lang äh, Zeugen und Experten anhören, ebenfalls von verschiedenen Kontinenten. Beim People Assembly, da ist einerseits geht es darum, dass Leute zusammenkommen aus der ganzen Welt, die eigentlich, sagen wir mal, daran arbeiten, was sind denn die Alternativen zu Monsanto und Co. In recent years, Monsanto has gone down in history for the damages done to children in Vietnam with the spraying of Agent Orange a herbicide, with dioxin being put all over the place, in rivers, in waterways, and cancer clusters wherever Monsanto produced the dioxin. GMOs have been linked to things like allergies, digestive disorders, organ damage, even things like tumors. And for our environment, they've been linked to the dying off of our bees, our butterflies, new superweeds, superbugs, soil and water contamination with pesticides and herbicides. So, Monsanto lies, it influences policy, it writes laws, it poisons our food, it poisons our children, and when our laws take them to account, it threatens our governments. I believe in the power of people and I believe that seeds should be kept within the hands of people and not in the hands of multinational corporations. Only 10% of the GMO crops that are grown go into the human food system. The rest are going for biofuel and driving cars and animal feed. This is not food. Therefore, farmers must have seeds in their hands. Farmers must grow diversity. When we grow diversity, all the problems get solved ecologically. What can we do, each of us, well, to raise uh, ecological consciousness, to be re uh, citizens um, interested in what is going on, to take the information, but you can also get involved in civil society movements. Yesterday I was in the workshops around the GMOs, um, which we share the different trials that um, is happening in different um, continents. Um, and then we went on to discussion in terms of actions. So we are trying people to farm um, more on an agroecological method, using their own seeds. The way they are farming is different in terms of industrial farming. So, um, because we are changing the people's mindset and people are implementing the agroecological method, maybe that's why we, we are not so radical in terms of the GMO. Sovereignty campaign. That's a movement that actually is focusing more on a, a, a more broader issue in terms of what's happening in, in, in the different areas that we're working. Maybe we should network with the other organizations that's actually in the different provinces where GMO is more radical or active. They are more on a higher um, scale being produced. Maybe we should network with them and see how they can assist us to actually be more proactive in terms of GMO. Every time of serious oppression has required people to get together and that getting together is facilitated by creative actions. Creative actions like what we are doing in October 14th to 16th October in The Hague 
where we are organizing a Monsanto tribunal to try Monsanto on the century of crimes against nature and humanity, but also to lay out the vision that we are shaping of a better world, a better agriculture, a world where people are not fighting each other, but working together to protect the earth as earth citizens.